Our planet has more than 8.7 million species of animals, but we're familiar with just 2 million of them. We know very little about most of these species. Experts are curious to find out whether these species regularly exist in the wild or have some broken the life cycle and occasionally appear on the face of the Earth. Different species have different features like attractive colours, strange bodies and some may even have a sarcastic fringe head. There are a lot of animal species you probably had no idea existed. Today we'll show you 40 animals you've never seen before, so make sure you watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Sea slugs have a lot of variety, however the Spanish dancer Nudie Branch is the largest sea slug as it is as long as a human arm and often looks a lot like a mutilated floating tongue. Some people also think that it resembles a giant flower petal. This alien lives in the depths of the oceans. The sea slug shown in this footage is quite special as it is a predatory sea slug. In addition to their appearance, they possess unique features related to how they eat. They move around with their oral veil open like a vacuum which closes like a fishnet on the arrival of prey. Scientists ought to have a better system of naming animals. This air-breathing animal is named ghost shark, although it's not a shark at all. However, they are related to sharks except for the fact that they possess only one gill on either side of their bodies that make them look like a ghost. They also have a misty glow in their dark eyes. The animal you see in this video is a sea cucumber. The individuals belonging to this species are called pigs because they have pinkish plump bodies similar to pigs found on land. Sea pigs inhabit every ocean but they're not visible to you as they live in the deepest and coldest parts of the ocean. Striped hyenas don't exist and the animal observed in this footage is an aardwolf. Their name means earth wolf. They are insectivorous animals and only prefer to feed on tiny critters. For this reason they have teeth in their cheeks that resemble flattened pegs. This boring-looking fish possesses very strange features. It has a unique weapon called slime to get rid of the enemy. Slime is a gelatinous mucus-like material that can expand up to a hundred times when released. It helps the fish slip away from the grip of predators. The robber fly is rightfully termed the criminal of the animal world. They eat any insect that can fly and use very cruel methods to capture these critters. They inject a fluid into their victim that breaks down their muscle tissues. After that, they chomp them down. Being three inches long, they are practically the hulk of the fly world. Although the feral white serval is not found in the snow, this one seems to be coming from a winter wonderland. Only a few of these animals are known to exist, and just two of them have actually been witnessed. They're not proper albinos. Their natural fur is, however, entirely white. At times, nature has a great surprise for us, which even baffles scientists. The gulper eel resembles a large net with a balloon mouth. They swim in large groups of shrimp while keeping their mouths open and scooping up the meat that comes in their path. They also use their huge mouths for storing food which can be used later. Crown jellyfish has no heart, brain, blood or gills but it has the unique secret to immortality. They have extremely simple biological makeup and can apparently live for thousands of years. They are particularly venomous creatures capable of significantly harming their enemies. If you see this unique fish, immediately get away from it as it is the sarcastic fringe head. And it's not only obsessive about territorial possession, but it has a mouth filled with needle-like teeth that can act like a bear trap. They're often described as witches that live in the woods and hate everyone else. Due to increased rubbish in the depths of the ocean, we can conveniently confuse this strange creature with a piece of ribbon or colorful cloth. These are ribbon eels, which start their life as bright yellow eels and subsequently they turn blue and yellow. At this stage, they are male, and when they again become yellow, they become female. Strangely, the color of their skin corresponds to their sex. The harlequin toad has an attractive striped body, which may be considered a ploy to attract a female partner. Actually, these frogs completely stop taking food during their mating season for a special love date, which results in a loss of up to 30% of their body weight. After that, they have to wade in the water for attracting a mating partner. The magnificent cone-haired mantis is a mesmerizing creature you won't be able to stop looking at if you come across one. Their bodies are blended extremely well amongst the ocean flora, and they move like leaves for ensuring further camouflage. Some insects, like millipedes, have an extraordinary number of legs and look excessively creepy. From afar, the African giant millipede looks like a snake. No sensible person would like to get close to them. They secrete a liquid that can make your skin itchy. The hammerhead worm is considered one of the most hardcore worms. Most of the worms just wriggle around and don't have much armor. 
They prefer to prey on their own kind of earthworms. At times, they also eat slugs, insect larvae, and other hammerhead worms. The hammerhead worm pushes the victim against the surface and envelops it in a slimy secretion and drinks it up. The Hercules beetle, with sword-like features on its head, looks quite heroic. They don't bite, don't produce any smell or odor, and are quite easy to handle. You can consider keeping them as pets. These Honduran bats are quite different from normal scary bats. They're very cute and love getting pats from humans. Sometimes they curl up in large leaves and use these as their residence. They snuggle together and then go to sleep. If you ever see an albino seal, you may find it hard to take your eyes off of it. However, they faced discrimination in their colonies who reject them for being different from the majority population. They have extremely low chances of existence, like one out of a hundred thousand. Only a few bald birds are found in nature. This bald eagle has undergone a genetic mutation known as leucism that takes away some of the melanin and makes it look like it's got fur bleached at a salon. They are very rare to find. Maybe one in about 1800 is a leucistic bald eagle. A zorse looks like an animal that's been painted. However, the painter could not complete the process. The zorse is an extremely strange animal and humans love to produce some little weird creature mixtures. Like a mule, humans experimented and produced the zorse. Zorses are generally prone to dwarfism and this small size makes them look really cute. Several fish of white color, but nature has produced very few rare white orca whales. One of them is very famous in the marine community and is named Iceberg. Those who like beluga whales would definitely like the charismatic round faces of Irrawaddy dolphins. They bear uncanny resemblance to baby belugas. They possess only one dorsal fin and also have very prominently expressive faces. This makes them look like they're always smiling. Unluckily, Irrawaddy dolphins are presently endangered. The collared lizards are much fancier than normal lizards as they have two distinct black colored circles around their necks. They prefer to feed on critters, especially grasshoppers and crickets. At times, they also enjoy feasting on other lizards, including their own kind. Cicadas are quite weird and live very long lives which extend from 13 to 17 years. They hardly come out of the ground to stick to car windshields and they create an insufferable buzzing sound. Some cicadas are incredibly large, having brightly colored bodies. These are the only ones in their genus. The cleaner shrimps are incredibly beautiful and bright. They facilitate the life of every creature found in the ocean. They live with their client fish and clean off any parasites that the host fish might have. It serves shrimps with free food and provides free-of-cost cleaning service. We see a lot of regular cats, but gorgeous creatures like the lynx are rarely observed. They have peculiar tufts of black hair on the tips of their ears and also black bars on their necks which resemble a bow tie. They can be termed as the fancier cousins of normal bear cats. The monkfish is a weird species. They're often called the poor man's lobster as they provide a firm sweet taste like a lobster tail. Around 80% of their body is made up of just their mouths. At first glance, this pyrosome may look like plastic, but it's not. In reality, it's a free-floating collection of entirely identical clones that make up a colony. The one you're looking at in the footage is also a colony. These simple creatures feed by a method called filter feeding. They filter out microscopic plankton from the water and extract nutrition from it too. Sometimes they even glow due to their bioluminescent qualities. In addition to disturbing violence in water due to the presence of predators, there is the bobbit worm that looks like a chainsaw. They have a great ability to detect prey due to their five sensor antennae. They utilize their strong muscles to snap a fish in half and gulp it up. Occasionally, they even bite humans. Some marine animals are really good at camouflaging themselves. It serves animals but is a big problem for humans. The hairy frogfish is covered in spines resembling strands of hair. They're also capable of changing their color. They actually don't swim, rather they walk along the ocean floor. Mediterranean parrotfish seem to have chosen a bad shade of lipstick. They use their beak-like mouths to feed on algae that grows on seagrass. They constantly chew off the algae from the rocks throughout the day. It's beneficial for the coral reefs. The Mediterranean parrotfish is an endangered species. Deep-sea fish don't often come to the surface, and for all the right reasons. These are massive and horrifying creatures that would scare even the bravest of us. You can see this scary bubble fish in the footage and understand why no one wants to see it again. Deep inside the ocean where sunlight cannot reach, there are amazing creatures you'll never find elsewhere. 
One of the rarest animals found underwater was captured by a robot. It's a beautiful transparent octopus having luminescent tentacles and looks like an alien fish. Let's have a look at the sun bear, which is believed to be the smallest bear species. They have an unusually long tongue. They have a bright patch on their chest and are therefore known as the sun bear. The red-lipped batfish seems to be a fan of the classic red lip. They lure in prey for which they have a separate system. Their modified fleshy dorsal fin can be extended to lure small fish. The blackfin icefish resorts to an extremely weird way of surviving. Some might think it was a weird step in the process of evolution that formed hemoglobin that made all the difference. The blood contained in the body of the blackfin fish looks like plain water because of this hemoglobin deficiency. The mantis shrimp looks like a million peacock feathers and also has a punch that looks a lot like a bullet leaving a gun. The force they produce equals about 2,500 times more than their body weight. Golden cave catfish is the most endangered species of fire-breathing catfish. They're also found in a cave in Namibia and nowhere else. The yeti may not be real, however, the yeti crab is surely a real creature. It is a ghostly animal that possesses super furry pincers, which they use to harvest huge clusters of bacteria that grow on the surface of hydrothermal vents. Venezuela poodle moth was first discovered in 2009 in Venezuela. It has big black eyes and its body is covered in white fur, which makes it look like a fluffy poodle. Being a moth, it also has a white fish wing and it may be attracted to the porch light. The hummingbird hawk moth is not a regular moth. Previously, it wasn't classified as a moth either. It's quite large, almost the size of a hummingbird, and bears a long proboscis which it uses to feed on nectar. It also has orange-reddish wings. These peculiar moths are inhabitants of Scotland, Wales, Ireland, and England. These street tenracs are generally inhabitants of Madagascar. If found in the mountainous forests, they're classified as highland tenracs, whereas those found in the eastern forest are classified as lowland street tenracs. The lowland street tenracs are the most social as they're found in groups. At first sight, they look like electrocuted rats due to their erected yellow and black quills which are used for communicating with other group members as well as for defense when they feel threatened. The lowland street tenrecs also possess long little snouts that play an important role in foraging for plants as well as insects. Long wattled with flabby chunks of skin like you find on a turkey, they resemble the umbrella bird which has a thick scarf wrapped around its neck. Interestingly, these birds can control their wattles accordingly. They can retract and extend the wattles during flight or when they need to perch on a branch of a tree. Other than getting mates for them, these wattles play no significant role. In Ecuador or southwest Colombia, you can see a long-wattled umbrella bird in the wild. This strange tiger you see in a cage is a cryptid and has been recorded from Chad's Entity Plateau to the Gura Massif, a Central African Republic's Bongo Massif, and even the southern part of Sudan. These are cats larger than lions and have peculiar red hair. They also have vertical white stripes on their bodies as described by several tribes belonging to Chad and the Central African Republics. However, this unique feline hasn't been witnessed for a long time now. In fact, this one has also been locked away for years. They all have super long fangs protruding from their mouths. They have very short tails, and according to a chief from Awanda Jale in 1937, a gasengrum was disrupting the region by dragging its prey to the highlands. What would you do if such a massive and ferocious feline crosses your path? Tell us in the comments below. Have you ever seen an animal that looks like both a giraffe and a zebra? The guppy okapi are the closest relatives of giraffes. Okapi seem to have borrowed their head from the giraffes, whereas the black and white stripes on their hind areas and front legs are seemingly borrowed from a zebra. Okapis are endangered species. There are only a few okapis deep inside Ituri Forest. Did you like these weird and strange animals? Share your views in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.